It's keeping you safe tonight. So much talk about vaping all across the country. The Mayo Clinic in Scottsdale may be closer to figuring out what's causing the mysterious vaping illness that's claiming victims across the U.S. Researchers here just completed a groundbreaking study, the first in the nation to actually look at lung biopsies of vape smokers. And they found that toxic chemicals may be causing the illnesses. Team 12's Nicole Zymack is here with us in Studio 12A tonight with what the findings mean and how they could keep us safe. Nicole. Well, Mark, scientists looked at more than a dozen lung biopsies and the results, they're shocking. One Mayo Clinic doctor says he's never seen anything like this kind of damage in traditional smokers. What we see with these vaping cases is a kind of severe chemical injury that I've never seen before in a tobacco smoker or a traditional marijuana smoker. Dr. Brandon Larson is a surgical pathologist at Mayo Clinic Arizona and a national expert in lung pathology. I think we've only seen the tip of the iceberg. Here are the facts. Scientists looked at lung biopsies of 17 patients who had lung damage due to vaping. Patients were from around the country and here in Arizona. Researchers found all 17 biopsies had lung injuries that appeared to be caused by toxic chemical fumes. So the injury in the lung looks like a, a caustic chemical injury that then will, will injure the lining of the airways. The CDC says vaping lung cases have skyrocketed in recent weeks. There are now 805 reported cases across the country and at least 12 deaths. Here in Arizona, the health department says there are seven reported cases and no deaths. And while the study may help scientists and doctors understand what's causing the vaping epidemic, tracking down which chemical is actually responsible will be trickier. Vaping e-cigs can contain hundreds, if not thousands, of chemical compounds. One of the problems with vaping is that it's there's so many products and materials and substances in the market with Tobacco, there was only one culprit, but the sky's the limit with vaping. Now, vaping-related lung injury can be difficult to diagnose, but the CDC says they've noticed more than 70% of cases are in men and two-thirds are in victims ages 18 to 34. Back over to you guys. All right, Nicole, thank you.